All right, welcome back. And I still the Good Morning Ninja Show. And I promise when I say we will get better guests, we will discuss something very, very important. Things really happen for the country, and a lot of people still don't even know, say, it is Shelley. Those who don't even understand what it means. And we will discuss migration. Being said today in our uh, World Migration Week, we will discuss these matters back and forth so people will understand them as it be. With me in the studio, I get uh, Madam Ngozi Okoro. We will also discuss with us on that level. And uh, with me over Skype, I go to, we will speak to uh, Mr. Osita or Semene also. So we will see they discuss this whole matter. So make I even let uh, make I greet my people then. Mr. Osita, good morning. Good morning, oh my brother. Good morning. All right, all right. Welcome for joining us. Thank you for joining us on the show this morning. And um, Madam uh, uh, Ngozi, how you day this morning? I day well, oh my <laughs> people. Good morning. All right. Osita, do. <laughs> Made it. I greet to my commissioner. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you see, there's a connection going on there. I know myself on that level. All right, so make we jump into this matter. First of all, I would like to uh, ask um, Madam Ngozi, as based on said, they say ladies first. Make it not be like say uh, <laughs> a lot. So we will discuss this migration. What is migration be? Make people understand that first before we enter all the matters with it. Migration, mm. now movement. Okay. Movement of people from one place to the other. Okay. You know, generally, like way near they take this crime and for people we say we are all migrants mm. if you're not a Lagosian, you're a migrant yeah. you come from your village we no be lagos mm -hmm. maybe not the state itself no be lagos so you be migrant okay and you get reason why why you leave your place mm -hmm. come lagos you know true the, maybe for greener pasture the, mm -hmm. or maybe they, they pursue you for your village mm -hmm. or anything so now that is migration movement of people from one place to the other okay. because they have reason. There's what something we call the push factor. Mm -hmm. You know, something pushed them. There is some other, uh, uh, the root cause mm. of why they come out from wherever they are, mm -hmm. you know, to another place. Mm. All right, so as you don't uh, establish that one now, make I ask uh, Mr. Osita. Uh, Mr. Osita, we know say, um, as uh, Madam don't put us through on waiting migration B, she even uh, uh, underlined one conversation we go push me to my next question. The root cause of migration, which if you say one of the, maybe one of the most general uh, root causes where they cut across most people for them to move from one place to another, which if you say be that the most general one where they happen usually? Yes, uh, if you look at from the angle, from the angle of Nigeria, mm -hmm. so many things where they happen within Nigeria, people they go find within their one shop, how they could survive. You understand? Yeah. Um, unemployment, you know, people don't get work. Some, some people from village, like at uh, my startup, some people they come from village within Nigeria, they move because then they go better place where they want to find survivor. Okay. So we they push people to start with most times now, unemployment and ways to survive. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you look at the people, they don't have a problem. They they look and say, Nigeria now, change hard. Yeah. You know, many people know the work from Nigeria now. So now they make them, they say, they find people who come up from Nigeria, who don't find out that they survive. And the major factor, apart from those other people, they say, maybe in our war, they cause a crisis or family beef. Mm -hmm. That's the major problem with the push people come up from the position where they live from Nigeria. Now, uh, they say, now, hunger, mm. poverty. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Osita. Look, so speaking from your point where you give, you say now nah, usually work now people they go find. Uh, based on say they, they, they're not saying for where they're they are they they go the other uh, state where they but um, um Madam Ngozi, this thing they also cause some kind of problems because if people they move from uh, like from Abuja or from one other state, come Lagos. Lagos go go the fool. That other state <laughs> go the, the people where they, they go they reduce and the things where they, they can't find for here. No good day enough for everybody to share. You know, if you say this one, an issue too, where they happen? You know, nothing, there's nothing wrong in mm -hmm. people moving. Okay. You know, for them to leave their place means say that place where they go. They don't say something good, they there. Okay. You know, so you know, go cause problem if that state or if they understand, say, there's this issue of uh, movement. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a human thing. Okay. You know, it's a human thing because you get advantage, you get disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But most times, you get more, more of more advantage, advantage. Okay. for the state, you know, or country, where did they go? Mm -hmm. Because when they go there, they go, they work, you know, True. they make money for the country mm -hmm. and for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, they will do, they will de they develop the 
work to develop the country mm -hmm. or the state. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, we know say people they move to where it go better for them. So it is left for that uh, state or country to make sure say they they go do to accommodate people mm -hmm. where they move in. You okay. Know? Because like I tell you, say yeah. The Oyibo man will come to Nigeria is a migrant, mm -hmm. but he live in place, come, come here. here. Nigeria will leave uh, Nigeria, go another country, na migrant, mm -hmm. you know. So, that he make with the talk, say, anywhere where you day, make, it, make them make them comfortable for you. Because all of us, we are migrants, mm -hmm. you know, but that is the problem. Hmm. Okay, this one, uh, Madam, this one we don't talk, so I, I, I agree with you. He talks everybody in a migrant. We all, they move from one place to yes, another. So, so uh, um, Oga Osita, sure you agree to waiting Madam yeah. talk? Because people, they complain, say most of our Nigerians, where they go abroad, go they stay, they're they very, very successful and productive for them. Why they not they sit down for Nigeria to be productive and successful to also improve the, the, the economic situation within the country? She, you go agree to wait till Madam talk, say everybody in a migrant. If you go any other place, they suppose even make that place okay for you to stay. What do you feel about this conversation, sir? Hello? Okay. You I, hear me? Yes, she, you they hear me? Yes, I hear you well. Okay, you she, get you... to where they are trapped. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. You get come to where they are trapped to go to that. Yes. You understand? Where they know she for here. Mm -hmm. Like some people, when they visit the walk home, they get comfortable. They don't see light no day, road no day. And they notice they like to take a pack for the people who have their business work well. These people will carry them for what? Let me call they lose many people. Okay, look some for Nigeria here, we don't lose so many doctors. We don't lose so many nurses. Yes. So they go to uh, the same country, they go to the same work. And these are good, very some of our uh, graduate doctors. And they've been fed doctors for the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And they've been fed doctors for, for Canada. Now, because that place they are much more, they pay them more, life is better for them, they are more. Hmm. Now, what is the limit? So, but, you know, we, we know they are against some of them. Okay. What do they talk? You say, you know, as much as the United Nations, they say, make, they make uh, migration good for everybody. You understand? Hmm. Make we protect migrants, make we accept migrants wherever they are. Also, they beg our own government. They can make it very comfortable so that people will also be the come here. But they still are here. Hmm. So, so as it be so, what do you feel say government need to do? Because that complaint of, uh, as you take, give us uh, the example of how our the doctors they go other countries, go they go they work, go they establish those places. What do you feel say make government do regarding this one? And you also talk say you know uh, talk say the migration they bad, but our country they suffer. We they lack these professional people. We suppose they here to make things happen. What do you feel say make government suppose do regarding this migration uh, level? Government need to help us. They need to make, they need to create an international environment. Mm. They need to make the country comfortable. Eh? They need to, you know, they need to look at the infrastructure to get medicine. Our hospitals, yes, it is. No maintenance, all, all the equipment. No kind of hospital. If they take the sick man one day, you carry the person go. Eh? Make the person well. Mm. But the people go to hospital for Nigeria here, they go die. You understand? Know, we don't get government hospital. We don't get government hospital. So make Nigeria. Wake up, okay, see our school before. People know they go, mm -hmm. people know they go abroad, go to school. Mm -hmm. in, in, in those days. For now, everybody wants to come up for, for Cyprus, Ukraine, uh, Ghana, FTJ. It's a different country. What did they happen? Mm -hmm. Make government sit up, make them change, make them make this system work. So that people don't go to like that. Mm -hmm. We don't talk to people who don't have it. One come up, make them make our own, they do. Make true. our own, they do. Not true. All right. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, contribution, uh, Mr. Alcita. So, um, Madam, we, not, we, we just talk about how government need to get involved in this matter, what they need to do to also make sure, say, the situation of the country for where person they come out from, still they okay, so that they don't go carry all the uh, all their, their skill, go another place, go they, uh, improve that one. But now, we know, say, with the uh, global pandemic, uh, coronavirus day everywhere, and people don't even understand how the level take be. So, Looking at the situation of uh, migrants, refugees, people with the IDPs and all that, how you, yeah, you, you feel, say, the, the government feel they involved to protect these people when it comes to in the people where they move from one place to another? How you feel, say, the government go they involved to protect? Government, it is their responsibility to protect 
people within their country. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as they, as they also talk, mm -hmm. if government make everything, provide jobs, pay people well, mm -hmm. nobody won't travel abroad. Mm -hmm. I remember some of our seniors, they'll say that time when they did secondary school like this, they go, if, just enter, how much? Go, go London, go come back. Mm -hmm. Nobody said that they go there, go stay, you know? But and by the time they finish, they, they work there for them. Mm -hmm. So what thing they happen now? So it's the, the, the responsibility of the government to make sure, say, they provide and protect the people with it. You know, this con, uh, pandemic, pandemic, is the responsibility of government to take support the people in the IDP camps, mm -hmm. you know, refugees and all that, mm -hmm. provide all the services, all these uh, face masks, things that they're supposed to do, yeah. you know, and make sure that they are okay, they are comfortable in uh, wherever they are. So mm -hmm. it's the responsibility of government, you know, mm -hmm. to do all these things. You see, and again, you see what do they talk? I tell my people before, say this uh, migration day, maybe we carry placards, go... Um, German embassy. Okay. Because we hear say they want to deport Nigerians. Hmm. People who don't stay 10 years, 15 years mm -hmm. for their country, mm -hmm. they want to bring them back. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. of uh, um, what is it? My, my, they have migration issues. Okay. But they now tag them criminals. Hmm. And when they don't tag them criminals, Nigerian government will believe, say, their own uh, citizens, Wego, uh, Germ Germany, they are criminals. But they have their people here. Mm -hmm. So yes. if our people are criminals, they too, they are criminals now. Mm. So we need to, it's not something that they, they are planning to just bring them on and announce. Wow. You know? So somebody that have spent 10 years over there, 15 years, who now everything where you don't make, everything you go just, uh, just leave, them, they leave them there, they come. Mm. You know? So it is not good. That's what we're talking about, migration. That's anywhere the person migrates, you have the irregular migration, that's uh, maybe people, all these people, they pass through... Uh, desert, they mm -hmm. go Kini. Mm -hmm. If they make the process easy, people will go on a normal uh, basis mm -hmm. instead of uh, trying to jump or whatever. Mm -hmm. But whatever happens, whether now irregular or irregular, the, the country where they are going, to, they're supposed to protect them because mm -hmm. we are all moving from one place to the other. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is something that is making the person to move yes. ahead. Yes. Not person, okay, person, where maybe there is problem in the person's country and all that. You need to protect the person, hmm. whether it come through the right way or not, you know, but they should make it easy for people so that they will not they always will be, be going through the, through the wrong way. way. Yes, hmm. Hmm. you know, they should go through the right way. Hmm. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Ngozi, for that uh, conversation. Mr. Osita, your final words on this matter, because yeah. you know, say, um, as my madam don't talk, so she don't break them down, don't clear them. She, any policies they yeah. really government need to put in place, we go use, take, you know, uh, help these people where they out there, where they want just the deport anyhow. Which way do you think about this one? No, we get policy with okay. Nigeria. Get national migration policy. Okay. They take care of this. Uh, but uh, you know they accommodate people with them same back by force. Okay. Uh -huh. But that one, that one we need to talk. and see whether we could bring their policy way to free accommodate people with them same back by force. Okay. Because the policy way they and the policy for people where they return, where they return for not to you. Okay. Where they where they say they don't hire or they say they are fine, they don't come, come back. Yeah. You know. Get that one for Nigeria. My government, they call data. You know, National Commission for Refugee is this person. And even for our work, you know, say, to be the work of uh, CSO migration, which is work of migration. Okay. You know, we also get different, different people for our network, and do different, different matters. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our ambassador's zone, CSO technique. You know, we get people when they say, inside that. They did really, they get shelter, where they help people, where they come back, you know, especially people where they come back through all this uh, support. So, we they talk say, make government efforts so that we we'll can include some people with the they don't carry them, come back like that, come them for effort, not for the criminals, no, mm. no, the, no, the, mm. no, the, at all, give us to the big, you all know, right. and in this period of, uh, Celebration for this we do now. Not say tomorrow night, a national day. So yeah. today, yes, today, celebration with the title of Maka. We try to tell countries, make them, make them take migration for, for, the, for migrants. Whether they be regular migrants, yeah. yeah. Protect the right 
human being. Oh, my God. Human being. All right. Oh, human being doing legal. The people that look at documents, they made a system. Because this pandemic, they are saying, my God, they are very vulnerable. Anyway. Thank you. Very All right. Much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Osita. And Ms. Ngozi, thank you very much for joining us. I like the final conversation where you put for them. Say, no human being is illegal. They shall burn them. He shall get certificate. Yes. So it makes sense. Make yes. uh, they, they protect uh, the migrants so they move from one place to another. Thank you very much, yes. uh, Madam, for joining us on the studio today. Thank because you. of time, we're going to need to uh, wrap them up here. But we'll definitely come back again and talk about this one. Because this one, now, issue where people need to discuss. Now, very, very big issue. A lot yes. of people don't even know, say, you get some kind of rights where you're going to move. Some kind of things are supposed to protect you as you they go. But it's good to say we don't start the conversation. And definitely we will come back again to take talk about them. Thank you very much for joining us on thank the show you. this morning. Yeah. And um, Mr. Ausita, thank you very much uh, for uh, speaking to us over Skype. Now, very good conversation we get this morning. Uh, we now here we'll take a uh, wrap up on top of the show this morning. And uh, still, uh, the Good Morning Niger show, we carry you the best of things for these two hours we do, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m.